If you're watching this video, then I need your help. My farm is covered in a foot of water because I am in the outer bands of Hurricane Ida. We have a little bit of break in the action right now, so I came out to film what's happening because we are in the middle of an avocado emergency. You see, when a hurricane like this hits, it dumps a lot of water on the ground. So the rain softens the ground, the roots have nothing to grab onto. And then the wind blows the tops of the trees and what happens? My trees get blown over. I cannot produce avocados without avocado trees. So if my trees get knocked down, I need someone to grow me new trees. Lucky for me, the seven students in Mrs. C's science class know how to grow avocado trees and they are planting seeds to help me through this crisis. Mrs. C is a good teacher. I had teachers like Mrs. C and every day I'm grateful for the lessons they taught me. Mrs. C sent each of her students home with an avocado and she told them to do two things. First, with the help of their parents, cut open the avocado and harvest the seed. Take the seed out of the avocado. She told them to set the seed aside so they could bring it to school the next day. Part two of Mrs. C's assignment was to make guacamole out of the leftover avocado. And I wish I was there to sample their recipes because Mrs. C tells me that Gavin, Sean, Michael, Riley, Sophie, Salma, and Maya are seven of the most creative students she's ever had in her teaching career. You hear those dogs crying in the background? You know why they're sad? They're sad because they didn't get to taste the guacamole made by Mrs. C's science class. I'm sad too. These students are so creative and intelligent that before they even began their science project, which is planting an avocado seed, they already learned stuff. They learned how to ripen an avocado. They learned how to make a recipe. They learned how to cook and create food for their family. But the important part of this project and the part that I want everyone to participate in, not just Gavin, Sean, Michael, Riley, Sophie, Salma, and Maya, but everybody watching this video, I want you all to plant an avocado seed. Now, before we get into planting this seed, I have a confession to make. I wanted to use a song to teach everyone how to plant these avocado seeds. And I was gonna play my son's guitar and sing that song to you. I went out in my yard today to take a walk around. I saw an avocado seed planted in the ground. Then I realized I don't know how to play guitar. But if I want to learn how to play guitar, it's very easy. I'm gonna find someone who knows how to play guitar. And I'm gonna ask them to show me how to play guitar. And then I am going to do exactly what they tell me. That's called learning. That's what Mrs. C's science class is doing right now. They are learning how to plant a tree. They are learning how to grow their own food. So if you're watching this video and you think to yourself, well, gosh, I don't know how to plant a tree. I don't know how to grow my own avocados. Don't worry about it. You found someone who's an expert, me. You found someone who knows how to do this. And all you have to do is do what I do. You'll be growing your own avocado tree in no time. You'll have something like this. So here's what I want you to do along with Gavin, Sean, Michael, Riley, Sophie, Salma, and Maya. When you're finished with that delicious guacamole you made, and your belly's full, and you're feeling really happy, I want you to go get your avocado seed. And if there's any skin on it or anything in the way, just kind of clean it off. And then I want you to take a good look at your avocado seed. You see this seed here? There is a top and a bottom. 
the top comes to a point. The bottom has a little dent in it. Looks a little bit like a belly button. Now your avocado seed might be a little more round. It might be shaped a little differently, but every avocado seed has a little point on the top and a little belly button in the bottom. So look at your avocado seed right now. Find the pointy top, find the belly button bottom. Next, I want you to go get a glass and I want you to get a clear glass. Don't use a red Solo cup, use a clear glass because I want you to be able to look inside of it as your tree grows. Get yourself a clear glass and fill it up almost to the top with water. Next, get yourself three toothpicks. And I want you to insert the toothpicks about a quarter inch or a centimeter or so into the seed, but not straight like this. Do it at a little bit of an angle, say like 30 to 45 degrees pointing upward. One, two, three. Now take your glass of water in one hand, your avocado seed with the toothpicks in the other, and place it in the glass of water and leave just enough water so your seed is just kind of touching the water. And now you can see why I said to put the toothpicks at a little bit of an angle so that the seed sits down inside the glass so it's always touching water. Now, since Mrs. C's class is a science class, you've probably at some point learned about evaporation, right? So you're gonna take this glass with your seed in it and set it on a windowsill where it will get light for part of the day. But that light will cause some of this water to evaporate. So every few days, I want you to come back to your seed and I want you to fill it up with water so that it's just over the bottom of the seed. This experiment will teach you something very, very important about trees, that trees have roots. That half of your tree is below the ground. The first thing you'll start to see are roots come down into your glass of water. And those roots will be traveling down to get the water and the moisture and whatever nutrients might be in here to bring up into the seed so that it could start sprouting a tree. Think of the roots as the mouth of the tree, right? When you get hungry, you get up, you walk to your refrigerator, you open up the refrigerator, you take something to eat, right? But a tree, a tree is stuck in place. This tree behind me can't just get up and go for a walk, right? What does that tree do when he's hungry? What does he do when he's thirsty? He's got roots under the ground and they grow toward the water and they grow toward the nutrients and they absorb the water and they absorb the nutrients and they bring it in through the base of the tree and up the trunk and out to the branches. Just like when you eat a sandwich and it goes into your body and gives you energy, the tree sends its roots under the ground looking for its food, its water, its nutrients that it needs to convert into energy so it can grow. Now, eventually you'll see roots come down and when they get down to the bottom of your glass, it's time to move your seed into soil. So if you're in Mrs. C's class, Mrs. C is gonna to go to Home Depot and she's gonna get you some pots and some regular old potting soil. But if you're one of the millions of other people that aren't lucky enough to be in Mrs. C's science class, you're gonna to have to go to Home Depot and get your soil and a pot. And I want you to fill the pot to the top with soil, but then dig out a little indentation and make enough room for the roots that will be hanging off the bottom of this seed when you plant it. Gently place it into the indentation and fill the dirt around it. And if your seed hasn't already started to sprout a little stem like this, a baby tree in the glass, it will soon start to after it's in its pot. Then it will grow a little bigger and it will begin to produce its first leaves. And then if you give it enough love and care, oh, here comes the hurricane again, here we go. If you give the tree enough love and care and nutrition and water and sunlight, you'll be able to grow a big giant tree like this. Now, eventually that tree is gonna outgrow your pot. Like this one here, look, it's almost as tall as me. And I like to put my trees in the ground when they get to be about chest high. I put this one in the ground a few months ago when it was about chest high. And look, it's already grown about another foot. Let's get a better look at that tree. So if you take good care of your tree, maybe your mom and dad will let you plant it in the backyard. Or maybe you could keep it in a pot till you're old enough and you have your own backyard and you could plant the tree. 
And then, if you continue to take care of that tree while it's in the ground, you'll eventually grow delicious avocados. So as I walk back to the house, because this storm is coming, it's gonna start raining really hard again. As we walk back to the house, let's review what we learned. We learned that tropical storms knock over avocado trees, right? Because the rain softens the ground and then with the soft ground, the roots are unable to hold onto the ground and when the wind comes, it blows the trees over. And we learned that as an avocado farmer, I need your help to replace those trees so I could continue to grow these delicious fruit. But I can't just ask you to grow trees without teaching you how to grow them. So just like Mrs. C taught her class, I showed you how to cut open an avocado and harvest the seed. We talked about making guacamole. You learned that some of the dogs in my neighborhood get sad when they don't get to share in the homemade guacamole. We learned that avocado seeds have a top and a bottom and that the top is pointy and that the bottom is belly button shaped. And we learned that half of a tree is above the ground and the other half is in the roots below the ground. We learned you could take three toothpicks and stick them into an avocado seed with the belly button down and the point facing up and place that seed in a glass of water so that it will grow roots. And that after it grows its roots, you can transfer it to a pot with soil. And when it gets to be about chest high, right? We learned that it has to be about chest high. You put it in your yard, in the ground. And if you take care of it, you'll get beautiful avocados in just a few years. And I can't wait till I see the pictures of the avocado tree that you grew at home. I'm gonna run inside now and get out of the way of this storm. You get to plant your avocado tree and I will see you on the next video.